We've got a Nazareth Inspector Jamal Zahalko, who is the leader of the Balad Party, also a former member of the Israeli Knesset. Mr. Zahalko, welcome to TRT World's The News Hour. What are your thoughts 54 years after the original Naksa? Uh, Israel wanted uh, to divide the Palestinian people all the time, but uh, in the last uh, weeks we saw that Palestinian people were united. Israel, there is no any nation in the world divided like the Palestinians. West Bank is divided, and it's divided from, it's separated from uh, uh, Jerusalem, and uh, Gaza is separated from uh, the Palestinians inside Israel, and the uh, Palestinian diaspora is also separated. We are segregated, and but we are trying our best to, to unify. In this day, in these days, we come to a, a point that all the Palestinian people hold a general strike. It, it didn't happen since 36. So Israel, uh, uh, aggression in, uh, in Jerusalem and in Gaza wanted uh, to weaken the Palestinian people, but uh, it came the opposite. We, are, we feel more strong uh, now because we are united as a nation. And uh, since 36, we hold the first national strike that all Palestinian people participate in it. So we insist to struggle for uh, justice and uh, uh, for uh, just peace, which means the end of occupation, freedom, and independence. And of course, return of Palestinian refugees. Absolutely, of course. But that struggle that you're talking about, it doesn't appear to be bearing fruit. And I want to ask you why you think that's the case. Because we have, under international law, Israel building illegal settlements. And yet nothing happens. The country continues to occupy land. It continues to build, as I say, those houses for Israeli citizens, for Jews who are illegally taking up Palestinian space. What does it say to the Palestinian people that after all these decades, the struggle is not bearing fruit because of the international reaction? I think that Israel is the spoiled child of the international community. Uh, it's, uh, uh, Israel is violating the international law, violating the international decisions, and it's not punished. And if there is no punishment against Israel, Israel will continue to do what uh, she is doing now. I think that uh, we need a Palestinian united, unified struggle, which can make a change all over the world, have a pressure over Israel, and put some restraints to over Israeli uh, uh, aggression. And Israel should be isolated like South Africa. This is our struggle now. We are living under Israeli apartheid, and we need the support of the international community, of the Arab world, of the Muslim world, to support us for our uh, struggle uh, for uh, equality of uh, people and uh, individuals. Do you think there's going to be trouble on Saturday? Already today, we are reporting on Israeli security forces using live ammunition and rubber bullets on Palestinian protesters in occupied territories. At least 11 Palestinians have been injured. As you saw in the last uh, weeks, uh, the Palestinian struggle uh, come in waves. It's not a continuous one. And I think... Uh, uh, there was a wave before, a, a very strong wave before two weeks, and I expect that more waves are coming. It's not continuous intifada for many reasons. I don't want to. It's not. It's not the time to explain. But we have. We'll, we will have waves of intifada. Intifada waves uh, within the uh, next uh, weeks and months. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you about Mansour Abbas, the head of the Ram Party, who used to be a member of the joint list, which your Balad Party is still a part of. So we're talking about Palestinian citizens of Israel being represented by parties such as yours. And we have now Mansour Abbas, a Muslim, entering into a coalition government with Israeli Jews, some of whom, like Naftali Bennett, are extremely right-wing. 
Would you ever see yourself and Balad entering such an agreement? I, 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 no, we are totally strongly against what uh, Mr. Abbas uh, did. I think uh, it's uh, a step against our uh, people, our against the Palestinian people, against our community, and uh, you cannot you cannot go and support a government like uh, headed by Naftali Bennett and its uh, right wing uh, government, which continue settlements, continue occupation. Uh, Judaizing uh, Jerusalem, uh, trying to change the situation in uh, Al Aqsa, mask bombing uh, Gaza. How can you support uh, like uh, a, a government like this? And uh, instead, you are getting some uh, budgets. It's uh, a, a deal which is which will reach the opposite because we insist to struggle here inside Israel for our rights as citizens, as humans, and not and our rights is not a, a part of a deal that we support the government and we got the budgets. We don't agree for that. We think that our rights is abs are absolute and we deserve them uh, in spite of our political uh, position. So if you come start uh, doing our, making our uh, rights as, uh, a, a, as a deal, as a, uh, something that you sell and, uh, and buy, it's, uh, it will reach the opposite and uh, we will not uh, go in, uh, ahead for uh, reaching uh, our rights here inside Israel. And of course, uh, it's uh, very, 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 very bad and uh, immoral and uh, unethical uh, step to uh, sell your uh, positions instead of uh, some budgets and some money. Yeah, it's only the first time in 50 years at least, isn't it, that such an agreement has been made by a party like Mansour Abbas's. But do you not think that the government of Yair Lapid, you're convinced, are you, that Yair Lapid and Naftali Bennett's uh, government is not going to be advantageous at all to Palestinian citizens no, no, inside no, no, Israel no, no, no. and Palestinians outside Israel? They declare that they will continue the uh, uh, policy of uh, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu. Nothing new. The only new thing that Mr. Netanyahu maybe it's not. I'm not sure of that. Uh, will uh, uh, finish his career, but I'm not sure. Jamal Zahalka, really very much appreciate your time, sir. Thank you so much indeed. Thank you.